Hello, uh, how are you doing today? I received this email today and um, I wanted to share it with you. Um, yesterday I received an email from these people claiming that I had applied for a job with Fall Renault or however you say that and uh, it was for a, um, a management position. Well, I never applied with them. I've been, you know, I've been looking for a job, but I didn't apply with this company. I mean, why would I? They're not even located here. So, yesterday when I got this message, I marked it as a phishing message, and I went to the document that's shown here, which let's see if I've got that open for you or not. Do, 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 do. Is this it? Ah, yes. So I marked, I went here and I ma marked this as, I don't remember where it was. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I used report abuse copyright, which just allowed me to mark it as phishing. Uh, it didn't allow me to do anything else or as a scam or whatever. So here's the job. $20 an hour is, is the basic salary. Part-time storeroom manager position is a uh, third-party logistic company using the system developed by Martha Cajal. With your approval, our partners transferred your contact information to our company. Yeah, which means I'm on some crap scam list. Your CV perfectly met our requirements. Well, of course it did. Majority of online, U.S. online retailers do not ship to you P.O. Box addresses, freight forwarding addresses, or overseas. The above mentioned conditions create a new business niche or niche. We provide U.S. local real street address to our U.S. and international customers to satisfy their shopping needs. For more details, visit our official website, fallrenew.us. Fallrenew LLC company leases you storage space from our storage managers, server managers paying $20 an hour. So, gosh, okay, so since they would be storing stuff in my apartment, which is not that big, for $20 an hour, I could charge them 24 hours a day. Okay, receive and unpacking coming shipments, expect contents, blah, 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 uh, maintain supplies, keep record of shipment, inspect shipments, distribute materials to customers or coworkers, business hours. Now, oh, wait a second. If requested by supervisor, I'm, gonna, I'm a storeroom manager. I would be answering to a supervisor. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. This just looks odd. Um, so anyways, let's go back to the letter. They also get a form here. And so... They've actually got the document right here. So, you know, you can just click on that, too. It gives you the same thing as what I just showed you. This thing here. All right, so I'm going to just leave this open just in case. 678 is an Atlanta uh, phone number, or at least in that area anyways. Now, I did go ahead and run... Uh, oh, I guess I should show you that, shouldn't I? Okay, if you look here, it says open-human-resources-depart-depart. Dot pro huh dot pro interesting um, so I actually tried to open that website and you can see here this is the response the result I got why because I have a um, an extension on my my uh, browser that forces every website to be opened with HTTPS protection and this website open human resources dep dot pro does not have HTTPS certification. That doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean it's a criminal organization, but it does mean that you are more vulnerable to hacking. You're more vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks and things like that. So that, you know, that's potentially a bad thing. Now, I did change it. I went over here. See, it says your connection to the site is not secure, blah, blah, blah. So I went over here and I changed it to HTTP. And once I was in, oh, and um, before I did that, though, I did 
before I went to this Open Human Resources Department Pro, I went to VirusTotal.com and entered it into the URL scanner, which uses all these different companies' brow, um, malware sc uh, scanners, and none of them found anything wrong with that site. But when I changed it to HTTP, what ended up happening was, let's see, which one was it? Uh, nope, that's not it. I got here. It redirected me immediately. It didn't show me anything on this website. And we can just take a quick look here and see if there's anything in this website. Not really. So it's a very, very, very minimal website. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Style, style, style. And it just made it so very minimal. Main content, none. Buttons. Yeah, well, there are buttons, but it didn't show me any buttons, that's for sure. Uh, subframe error, offline resources, script. All right. Golly, I don't know what that's all doing. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about this. The point of it is, is this website linked me directly to this. Why is that a problem? Well, it isn't necessarily a problem, but it does give us the chance to look for Fall Run O. But one thing else you should do is search for Fall Run O LLC. If you can't find it, that's a clear indication that the website is hidden from browsers, and it, that's a, probably means it is criminal or, um, yeah, it's criminal. But we see it here, so that's a good sign. All right, so now I was a little bit curious, so I went to the base site, which is here, and they say, we believe that clarity is a vital part of interaction with a customer. Okay, so track your package anywhere, but you can't click on it. Private shipping entries, you can't click on it. From many stores to one shipment, you can't click on it. In fact, let me see here. What can I click on? I can click on About Us, Services, Our Clients. Okay, I can click on all that stuff up there. Okay, I'm not worried about that. It doesn't even have real people's faces, so I'm not going to search for anything there. Oh, hey, they give us our the pricing per month. Wow, okay. Hmm, interesting. Happy clients. Wow, so if I come back here next week, this number and this number... And this number should improve, right? But, you know, as far as what they offer us, they, tell, they offer us the plans. And we can even click on them, but you have to sign up. Okay, let's see. Oh. That's quite an interesting sign-up form. Only name, name, email, phone, and give a password. Use customer super plus, regular, and okay. All right, so let's go here to services. All right. Okay, so it just shows this thing again. All right. So that doesn't really help us that much. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, so, all right, let's go back to this. Now, you'd think they'd have other jobs available, right? It wouldn't just be storeroom manager, would it? 
Well, they do have call support and customer representatives, so okay. And... Hmm. All right, so it looks kind of, kind of like it could be legitimate, but certain things about it do kind of concern me a little bit. Um, I did actually check this website also to make sure it was okay, and it came back with nothing bad. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to close that. And, um, oh, I want to move that over there. And we don't need that one anymore. All right, we don't need this one anymore. So we can, we can, um, yeah, we can get rid of this one too. All I've got left is this one about us website, uh, the web page. And here's their address. Now notice it says 1230 Peachtree Street Northeast, 17th floor, suite 1750, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. All right, so I went to look for, okay, that's 1206. And I, and over here is 1200. And you can see there's the pin right there in the corner of the office. I'll show you it's in this building. So it's still in the same building. It's just, it shows that this end is apparently 1230. But that's another Norfolk Southern Corporation. Now, let's look at something here that caught my eye, and maybe it'll catch your eye too. Remember the address. The address is 1230 Peachtree Street Northeast, 17th floor. Well, let's count. One, two, and there's this like garden level here. We'll count that anyways, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are only twelve floors, and they're claiming to be on the seventeenth floor. That is remarkably suspicious. And I did try to do some searching. I came up with hits for different addresses in 1230 Peachtree on Biz, um, Bizipedia, but I couldn't find that exact address. So I wasn't able to even verify that this company exists within this address on, and maybe they just made a mistake. But however, however, although I couldn't figure that out, I did figure out this. So, Flower No was registered with the Secretary of State Business Registration, and it is an LLC. It was created this year on June 26th, and it's active. The registered agent on file for this company is Felicia Ronokes, and, Ronokes, and is located at, get this, 954 Pino Trail 2. Austell, Georgia, 30168. And the company's principal address is also there. It's not listed as where it's listed on the website. That is suspicious. Not necessarily really bad, but it's suspicious. Okay, and later I'm going to be writing up a review to let um, Bizipedia know it's a scam. But, all right, so we've, we've, we've checked out this and can't find it, right? So I looked up her address, or his address. Felicia, I assume, is a woman, but I don't know. And here it is. It's a business. But wait a second. Let me step back here for a second here. I want to, sh I, whoops, I want to show you something. Now, if you look at the address, I typed in two, just like the address is listed for the uh, re registration. There is no Pino Trail 2. And you can see right here, very clearly on the map, Pino Trail is just this loop right here. There is no Pino Trail number two over here. And there's no address 954 other than where the pin is. Okay, so it couldn't have been, oh, wrong street, correct address. It's the correct address, except for the fact that the street doesn't exist. That is suspicious. And if we click on that picture there, we can see it's a residence. Okay, so maybe she's re um, got her business run out of her home. That's great. But why does her website say that it's located in Atlanta? That is very suspicious. So, like I said, I was never able to verify that this address has got this company in it. 
And since there's no 17th floor, it's highly unlikely that that company exists, right? So just going back to the original problem here, they sent me an application, uh, uh, sorry, an application saying I had applied. You filed an application and yet I have to fill out the application. That doesn't make any sense either. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to mark this as phishing after I'm done. I'm also going to go back and report this uh, um, thing again. And uh, hopefully somebody's get the, get, going to get their heads out of their butts and get this uh, scam shut down. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.